I'm Michelle Blue. I'm a millennial entrepreneur and started a business just two weeks after graduating college. <laughs> <laughs> it's my life and I don't even know. Okay. Each week, I'm interviewing an entrepreneur, getting a real look at their stories. The reason why it was challenging because there's no set path for entrepreneurship. At the lessons, the sacrifices along their journey. And yeah, leadership is hard, and you have to live at home, and entrepreneurship is not easy. So, for the fellow entrepreneur, hopeful entrepreneur, or whatever path you decided to take in life, just know that the beauty lies within the journey. Hello, welcome to the journey with Blue. I'm here with uh, Tracy Cook, the co the founder of Illusions by Ailey K. Absolutely love her. We met. Uh, a couple of years ago at the Dream Conference, yep. Dream Big Conference, I believe, and wow. you were a panelist, and I went up to you afterwards just like telling you about my stock line, and your whole platform was women empowerment, right? And cool, you can talk it, but you actually like lived the whole women empowerment movement. Like you welcomed me, like you allowed our stars to be at one of your events, like you take pictures, like you completely promote us, and you're everything that you stand for, right? So Absolutely, it's a must. You gotta practice what you think. No, it's so amazing. Like, we all need each other in this entrepreneurial journey, and you were definitely one of those people for me. Um, so tell us, Illusions by Ayla Kay, gorgeous swimsuits, all custom designed swimsuits. Give us the story, give us the why and the how. So, um, Illusions by Ayla Kay Swimwear is a, um, we are a specialty highway swimsuit brand. And um, we actually have been in business, this is our fourth year. Mm -hmm. And um, the brand started just from an idea. Uh, I went off to, um, I had my son when I was really young. Yeah. So all throughout, I was 18. I, all throughout college, I experienced those, you know, um, insecure moments, not confident moments whenever it's time for spring break. and. Mm -hmm summer vacations, I never wanted to wear a two-piece because, you know, having my son, my body went through so many different changes, and I have what I refer to as abdominal imperfections. Um, not saying that I don't love that part about me because that's where my son came from, but it's just something that I don't prefer to share with the world. Mm -hmm. So um, I never wore a two-piece swimsuit. I would be among these beautiful, sexy body, 19 and 20-year-old, college students, but I, you know, wore one piece. So fast forwarding to um, just a few years after I graduated um, with my master's, I was going to Puerto Rico with my best friend and we were celebrating her birthday and I um, was looking for a two piece because I'm like, look, it's like, I had to do this regardless. Exactly. I had just lost some weight and um, we, you know, she wanted to coordinate like a cute little photo shoot while we were on the beach. So I was looking for a high waist swimsuit yeah. and I couldn't find one that you know was high enough to accommodate me and so I just made my own well I designed my own and I worked with the tailor who brought, brought it to life for me and so I was just posting photos from my trip with right. my girls and so many women were like oh my gosh where'd you get that that is super cute and that within itself just gave me an aha moment and I hit the ground running. I'm like, okay, well, hey, I had already been... I mean, that's the best thing, though, because now you have people who are genuinely interested in your product. Right. Like this, you're actually, like, proving... Wow. You know, right, exactly. Most entrepreneurs start to hope to right. find a need in the market. Right, you are identified. Right, exactly. Um, the, the response allowed me to see that this can be a business right. and um, just doing research and utilizing my savings um, at the time I just you know sourced some fabric and I just started sketching and designing swimsuits and the rest is history literally yeah. so yeah I didn't have it all together yeah. but I was willing to figure it out nobody has it all together right. and I know your, like, your background is not even in fashion no it's not right. I actually um, I attended Florida State University I obtained my um, bachelor's in social work because I love people. Yeah. I have a passion for people, and I've always wanted to make a difference. Mm -hmm. 
And so I got my master's from Florida A&M University and I wanted to be a clinician or some sort of like director, administrator um, within human services or counseling. So, um, and I've always been a fashionista, I always loved the latest trends and just shopping, yeah. borderline shopaholic. <laughs> and, um, you know, it just, I think it has allowed me to couple my love for fashion mm-hmm. and my passion for helping people and making right. a difference into one brand. Right. I think something that's like so key in your story is like, okay, so yes, you're a teenage mother. You had your son at 18 years old, you know, and of course, like society has all these other stigmas, right? And all these other labels. Right. About Definitely. You. But she was like, nah, like, that's not my life. Nope. That's not going to be me. Absolutely. Right? Like, you went to college, you have two degrees. Yes. Like, okay. And then you started the business. Yes. And it's not even just like a small business. You have like developed like a following, like a cult following of people. I would say, yeah, you know, I do have a lot of supporters. A lot of people think that I'm an amazing person. Yeah. It's still a little bit overwhelming and surreal sometimes. Um, I just think it's so important to always just remain humble. But half of it is because I really don't feel like I am where I want to be as an entrepreneur. So it's like, yeah, I've had milestones, but I'm always on to the next. Like, hey, I'm not stopping there because, you know, my ultimate goal is having my uh, swimsuits in major retailers like Nordstrom's and yeah. all that kind of stuff. So I'm really just, you know, always staying, um, you know, positive and just exploring synergies with other entrepreneurs and, you know, just working my way up. Right. But the lesson is, like, despite whatever life circumstances is, like, you know, you have, like, that doesn't have to determine where you're going. You Absolutely. Know? And I think we all have something, you know, yeah. like, um, so I love that you were like, no, like I'm breaking free. Like this is not the path, you know, the trajectory that everyone thinks that I'm going to be on. Right. You know? I, um, I also say that um, being a teen parent or being a teen mom is not at all good, but yeah. it's not the end of the world because right. that young girl now more than before must learn the real reason why she needs to continue moving forward and be resilient and bounce back work hard because it's not about her exactly <laughs> yeah exactly it's not just about her anymore it's about her and her child and my mindset has always been I will not be a statistic this is it was my situation but I allowed my son to motivate me and you know just help me to thrive and reach my goals and that's exactly what I did and now it has turned into a global story yeah. and you know not just for those who are supporting and following me but also for my son right. so definitely. in the words of the child, the bounce back is really the bounce back is, is what it's really about definitely really about. absolutely okay super cool and okay one thing I completely admire about you and Sasha and I talk about this all the time. Like, I'll send Sasha, like, screenshots of things that you're doing. But, like, literally a PR powerhouse, right? So you've been on the cover of Cosmo. Like, Nicki Minaj wore one of your swimsuits. Yes. On the cover of Cosmo, major. Then on Steve Harvey, The Real. Like, and so many other things. So it's like, okay, a lot of times everyone sees, you know, the glitz, the glamour, the end product of that, but there's so much hustle in between. So I know it's not easy. It's not just hustle. Let, right. me, let me just say the right Okay, so it's hustle, hustle. Yeah. blood, sweat, right. and tears, right. headaches. <laughs> I mean, just everything you can imagine, frustration, you know, just doubt. People yeah. think that just because I put out positivity and empowerment that those things don't try to consume me. They right. knock on my door, I just choose not to answer. Right. Um, it is so much that goes into entrepreneurship. Like a lot of times, people often misinterpret um, success as an entrepreneur and fame. Yeah. I did not start a business to be famous. Yeah. Um, I started a business to create revenue for myself and for my son. So um, I think people love the whole like girl boss lifestyle mm-hmm. because one day I'm in Atlanta, the next day I'm in Phoenix, then I'm back in Florida. Right. So I think people like the idea of yeah, it, but it's the show. Okay. Yeah, it's sure. the show. But no, like entrepreneurial I feel like no matter 
if you are an entrepreneur or if you are a mother who is married and just making sure that her household is taken care of, that makes you a girl boss. Right. So I often tell people, like, don't just be so, like, adamant about being a girl boss to have a business because it is so much that goes into it wherever you are wherever you are dominated right so um, there is so much um, hustle blood sweat and tears that goes into entrepreneurship and like you said you know you only see the Instagram photo you only see like you know me standing looking but let me tell you the story like let me tell you all the no's it took for me to get to that yes you know Um, like so many times I have um, just been so ambitious because I know where I want my brand to be, not just to create revenue or generate revenue, but just so my story can be heard. You know, people from all walks of life are always picking up magazines. So I want my story to also be captured at the same time um, of, you know, you have power to do whatever it is that you want to do. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I have cold call cold emails people mm-hmm. never got a response back yeah, you don't um you, don't. you know and it's so hard as like an entrepreneur especially with fashion because it's so saturated like you know how your mom or grandmother aunt like older people they'll say you know it's not what you know it's who you know that yeah. is very true yeah. but as an entrepreneur it's almost like you have to convince these big wigs well i've had to do that to give me a chance. Yeah. I think sometimes people get so, um, you know, high executive levels that they forget that they were once, small. you know, small. Yeah, you know, we all start from somewhere. We all start from somewhere. So, you know, like the Bible says, do not dis- despise small beginnings because, you know, even though I didn't have everything, all my eyes dotted, all my T's crossed in terms of a marketing plan and a full-scale business plan, I started where I was and look where it has taken me. Yeah. Um, I think that, you know, sometimes it does get very frustrating when you see people who look like you and people who don't look like you and you ask them for an opportunity and they just pretty much ignore it. Granted, I know executives are really, really busy. I am really, really busy. Yeah. But I think that, you know, it's so easy to detect and discern someone's passion to just say hey yeah. let me at least extend the opportunity so we all need a chance i mean that's how they got to where they are absolutely you know? so very true and it's just and that's where i think the burnout part gets because again discouragement it knocks on my door yeah doubt knocks every day yeah. can i do this you know especially when you're repeatedly getting no yeah. but it doesn't stop me because i think you know i've just gotten to a place in life that no means not right now unless you say no not ever 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 then ever ever, then i won't bug you i I don't want to be a bug book right but i will show you that i am persistent in fact those are the key things that have allowed me to connect and build relationships with corporate executives who have you know extended an invitation for me to be a part of major um, activations and campaigns but you know i'm never too proud to ask I'm never too proud to follow up because entrepreneurship to me has just pretty much allowed me to translate who I am as a Southern belle, just being hospitable, being polite, and just following up. You know, I watched my mom do it. She was an entrepreneur. She sold Mary Kay. My father had a trucking business my entire life. So, you know, I and I am a Floridian. So naturally, we're very just nice, social. Yeah. And I mean, that's the way I am. I've been this way my entire life, just very helpful. Yeah. And just being who I am has allowed me to literally, like, to lunch, a seat at the table, yeah. sit with corporate executives yeah, fashion sure. in the fashion industry with no conventional background in fashion. And I think that's something that we can all take away. Because as an entrepreneur, sometimes we get so discouraged because it's like, you send all those emails, you get the no responses, you get the no's, you know, like, am I like, what am I doing? I like, even sent an edible like, arrangement to someone yeah. and never heard anything bad. And it was, yeah, of course I was trying to build a relationship. Yeah, um, genuine it, relationship. A genuine relationship yeah, sure. because I was so inspired by her story. But I know she's very busy, so I didn't take it personal. Yeah. In fact, I just feel like it's only a matter of time before I connect with right. this woman who I inspire, who I am totally inspired by and I just feel like she is going to be the person to help me get to the next level. So it's good for entrepreneurs to know like you're not alone like 
it's not personal, like, but still be persistent, right? Absolutely. And then for those who look at entrepreneurship as like just seeing the end results, there's so much work that goes in. There's so many steps. There's so many seeds planted, you know, and it takes time. Yeah, so all of us have to be patient. Absolutely. You know? Like, definitely be patient, be persistent, and just, you know, just go for it. Because yeah. a lot of times we often just think ourselves out of something because yeah. we start thinking about it and then we begin to doubt and then we just pretty much tell ourselves we can't do what it is that we really want to do. But um, it's just important to always just have those positive people around you, not just mentors, but millennials. Like yeah. I call people who are my same age, um, who also I find inspiration from, I call them friendors mm -hmm. because, you know, you're not quite older. Not to say that, you know, only older people can mentor you, but I call these people my yeah. friendors. Like you would be a friendor, Alicia mm -hmm. Reese, she would be a friendor. Mm -hmm. um, just other people who are, you know, when I have those moments, they're like, hey, girl, you help me get Hopefully myself I have up. something to get. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, you know, we all have those times. We just have to learn how to understand that it's only temporary if we continue to work for it. Yeah, well, okay. Like I said, I'm completely, like, always, like, excited to see what you're going to post. Like, I know it's always going to be something great. And, I'm like, I'm inspired by your story and by your hustle and the blood and the sweat and the tears and everything that I get to see um, that you're doing with your brand. So that's amazing. Um, so as we close out, I know I was asking you, I was like, what books do you read? And he was like, no, don't. <laughs> he was like, don't ask me that. But I know you're getting your inspiration from somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. So like, what are you looking at? Like, what's like, you know, what are you seeing on a daily basis that's keeping you going? Well, I actually, um, I follow Women by Choice. It's a network for women who, you know, really believe in the importance of empowering each other. I always follow all things positive. Um, Sarah Blakely is yeah. definitely um, pivotal. We need to get my, Sarah. Oh my God. We both need to find Sarah. In due time. I was yeah. at a conference in New York and she was there and I knew yeah. she was going to be there. I made a sign that said, Sarah Blakely, you're my Shiro. Yeah, you and she noticed like it. stalkers. Like, oh, yeah. Like on the edge. Professional stalkers. Yeah. Not no, in a bad way. Clearly, but you have to <laughs> know. You have to know, like you have to be intentional, point yeah, blank period. For sure. If you want to connect with these people, even though I know she's so busy, I still feel like in due time, we both attend the same university. We're from Central Florida. I just feel like in due time, I'm yeah, just gonna pass it on the house. Yeah, and it's gonna be at the perfect time. At the perfect you, time, you know? and you know, just staying, just always being positive and just following other positive people, yeah. and you know, quotes and. Um, just always understanding that life is always ever changing. It is ever changing. So, you know, nothing just happens overnight. I went to college. I started when I was 18. I didn't just graduate when I was 19. I actually did four years of college. So everything is a process. And as an entrepreneur, if you really believe in what you're doing and if you see if you are seeing results, you just have to always remember and remind yourself to trust your journey. Trust your journey. Trust your journey. And don't like get so caught up in comparison, you know? Oh my God, that's please don't. Like, that's you the thing about Instagram, you're comparing and everything. So stay focused on your journey. Absolutely. Stay in your lane. Everyone's journey looks different. For sure. Oh, For sure. Oh, and that's just the bottom line. Oh, yeah. Okay, last question, which I love. I'm always get so excited about this. So, um, you know, give me the song lyric. I'm right. really obsessed with music, obviously. Right, right, I'm right. going to drop some Big Sean in the middle of this. But, um, Give me the song lyric that motivates you, that gets you like in that hustle grind mode, right? So I'm like, it can be trill, it can be country, like whatever you want it to be. Well, I actually definitely Katy Perry for. Oh, yeah. I actually, I always, if I'm doing a speaking engagement, that is the song that I request to walk out oh, okay. That's, um, you know, I, need some I got music. the eye of the tiger, a fighter. Dancing through the fire, cause I am a champion, and you're gonna see me roar louder, louder so than the like, <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely. Like, I wouldn't have been able to sing that, so thank you so much. <laughs> yes, I love Katy Perry, and of course Beyonce. Yeah, okay, so I am champion. Yeah, it's called Roar. Roar. Mm -hmm. okay. Katy Perry, and then Beyonce has a song um, where she says, um, 
I'm going to keep running because a winner never quits on themselves. Yeah. And that's so true. Like, when I heard that song, I had it on repeat literally the whole entire day because she was just talking about freedom. And although she was talking about it as of people, African Americans, that song is very liberating as an entrepreneur. Like, I'm free from no's because I know eventually I'm going to get a yes. So I'm not going to stop. So yeah. that song has empowered me. It continues to empower me because I listen to it almost every day. Very cool. So yeah. yes, but don't quit on ourselves. Nope. That's Never. how we get here. Yep. That's the beauty of the journey, right? Yep. Very good. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Literally flew you. from Florida. Like, <laughs> yes, I do this. So I appreciate yes. all your love, all your support. All of um, us. And of course, like, amazing things for by Ayla K. Yes. Like, gonna pick up another magazine, go over something, she and will. see you. Yes. So, I mean, stay tuned. Yes, Thanks. definitely. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.